Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, we're going to continue our JavaScripting for Beginners uh, series. In this episode, what we're going to be learning how to do is to change actors HP, MP, and TP, and uh, different methods that you can use in JavaScript to do that. So taking a look right here, um, I just ran around and did some testing. If we activate this, you can see that we're gaining our HP back. If we go down here, we've lost 500 HP, we can gain it back. Um, for MP, we're going to lose 100 MP right here, and it worked, and we're going to gain 100 MP back. And for our TP, in this case it's named LP, we can lose 100 here, and then we can gain 100 here, or until we cap. Um, this is the same thing that's going to happen right here, except it's inputting a different command. Uh, the JavaScript code is different to do the same thing. You can see that we've almost died. We're at 67 HP. So we can get that back real quick fill up our HP. Um, over here, it's going to do the same thing. Uh, the difference with this one is it'll affect all party members. So this would be how you uh, can control it with multiple party members. So we'll go down here. We'll lose some uh, HP. We both lost 100. We go up here and we both gained 100. Uh, these other ones will be just affecting the first party member. So you can specify which party member gains and loses. And uh, you can use a for loop to have it gain uh, for everybody. Okay, let's get into the JavaScript. Let's take a look at these codes. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, you can ignore the animation. That's just to show you that I've activated an event. Um, the first uh, script that we're going to look at is dollar sign game capital A on actors dot actor. And in this case, we're putting the index. We're putting uh, the number of the actor. So the first actor in my database, I can show you. It's the character we were playing, Driftwood. So he's actor number one. So that's the number you put inside this parentheses right here. Uh, the number of actor you want. The actual code is dot gain capital H on HP, but it's not a capital P. This will cause you to crash and it'll say undefined. So it's capital H but lowercase p. In the parentheses, you're going to put the number of HP you want to gain, and you're going to do an end line. And that's it. That's the whole code. So to, to remove HP, it's the same code. Sorry about that. It's the same code, except you put a negative number in the parentheses. So gain HP, negative. So we're gaining a negative, so we're losing HP. Same thing happens. Uh, with these codes, and for TP uh, and MP, it's a similar thing. The only thing that you're really changing is one letter. So instead of HP, it's MP. And then for the, for the lose, you can imagine it's the same. You're just typing in MP and putting in a negative number. That's how you gain and lose MP for whatever actor you want to specify, if you want to specify an actor. And for TP, you just change the M uh, to a T or the H to a T. And then positive number, negative number, pretty simple stuff, really. Um, so looking at this next one, if you don't want to specify um, a party number, like an actor number, uh, you can specify the party member number. So if you don't want to specify the actor number, you can specify the party member number. So whoever's in the first party slot will be right here. And this works a little bit different in that we're adding one more thing. So dollar sign game capital P on party dot members uh, parentheses, but we're not putting the number in the parentheses. We're actually calling an array. So we're using an array to store the members. So you may notice that instead of one, we have zero this time. So how arrays work are they start at zero. An array is basically a variable that can contain multiple variables. It's uh, it's like Inception. It's a, it's a thing inside of a thing. And you can actually have a bunch of them. You can have one, two, three, four, and so forth and so on. But you would have to, spe you can't, this would crash. If you did that, that would crash. But what you could do is like copy this go right here, paste this, and then put one right here, and so forth and so on like that. And that would work too. But say you don't know how many party members you have, and you want to uh, apply a health or a damage to all party members, and you don't know how to do that. So right here, this is just doing the same thing, but we're taking away the HP. But if you wanted to control multiple members, uh, HP, MP, or TP, we're going to go back to the last episode where we learned about four loops. So what we're going to do at the beginning of this script call, we're going to create a temporary variable and we're going to name it X. And we're going to say at variable X is equal to dollar game capital P on party dot members 
and we're gonna do the parentheses but instead of doing an index right here doing instead of going like this and putting a number in there we're gonna use an extension called dot length and dot length is gonna give you the amount of inside of that array so we're looking for how many numbers are inside of this array basically that's gonna return the value of how, however many party members you have so this is gonna be a great thing to know how to to add in order to tell uh, at any point in the game you can use this code and it'll tell it'll return the value of how many party members are in the party so what we're gonna do with this value is we're gonna do uh, use it in a for loop so we're gonna use for open parentheses I equals zero semicolon remember to a for loop takes three things three arguments so we're gonna say I is less than X and we're gonna do an inline then we're gonna say plus plus I so I is gonna start at zero and when I is less than the number of party members you have you're going to do this and then add one to that temporary variable so it's going to do this code for every party member in your party, clean and simple. So after that, we open our uh, curly brace and we do dollar game capital P on party dot members, open and close parentheses, and inside in, inside of this uh, array, this index, we're actually using the the variable that we've used for i, uh, the temporary variable. So this is the number that's going to be changing because it starts at zero, then it does the comparison, runs this, and then it adds one to it. So then it'll go zero, one, two, three. And if you have 10 party members, members it'll run all the way up to nine because remember zero is actually the first uh, variable in that array. So you open up the, um, the curly braces, dollar game, capital P on party dot members, open and close parentheses, and we use I dot gain, capital H on HP, open parentheses, and the number of HP you want to gain for each party member. Do an end line, don't forget to close your curly brace, and that's basically it. So hopefully you guys like this quick tutorial on how you would uh, change actors HP, MP, and TP, and how you can use a for loop in order to tell how many party members you have. There's a number, a wide, wide number of applications for this for loop as well. So this is sort of like bonus content for you guys. So I love you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this or found it helpful. We will see you guys in the next tutorial.